I think digital technology is a, an essential component of, of solving climate change. Uh, Internet of Things, I think, is one of the most tangible examples of a technology that has been around and has been proven. Uh, and it's a, it's a technology that we can uh, use to uh, connect the different assets, systems, engines, etc., that are consuming energy uh, to monitor how well are they performing. Uh, are they performing uh, in the best possible way or are they underperforming? It's extremely exciting to see the advancement in connectivity and sensor technology, making it possible and affordable to bring sensors into every small piece of a supply chain. So take the cold chain as the example. From the time milk leaves the dairy farm to the time it reaches the dinner table, it goes through a lot of different processes and all these steps need to be methodically uh, temperature monitored in order to ensure that the milk actually reaches the dinner table and doesn't spoil in the process. And understanding how we can leverage the, the sensor technology and how we can make sure that there's full transparency uh, on a temperature level and, and other uh, measurements that are impactful is super interesting and it is a very tangible example of how we can make sure that more food reaches the dinner table or in other words, how we can reduce food waste. I think it's fairly safe to assume that we would see faster networks allowing us to connect more solutions to the internet and provide more detailed and fine granulated data. The challenge then is that we need to be able to harness that data and turn that data into actionable information that adds value to our customers. Uh, because if they know when and how to optimize the systems, then it's a benefit for them and it's a benefit uh, for the planet. Although being a commercial business, we, we also operate very much on the higher purpose. That's just a complete part of the Danfoss DNA and you see that with whoever you work with and regardless of where in the world that you're working.